Intros are stupid. What's up, YouTube? It's another top five video. Um, this is obviously not the five because this is just four. This is a runner up. So this is the Civivi Praxis. Um, they're all different. So I got these three first um, and they all had different blades on one another and I switched them all around to make it the way I wanted. Um, it's the runner up. Uh, like, why is it the runner up? I don't know. I just, I, I, I had to cut down the top five, right? Because the, the Praxis would definitely had, would have been in there, uh, if it weren't for my newest purchase. Um, but either way, this is the Civivi Praxis. This is, um, I, people make fun of me when I say it, but the, the, to me, this is Civivi trying to make a hinderer. Um, that's sort of the idea I get from the profile of the knife, and um, it just seems like their answer to the hinderer, like a super cheap hinderer. Um, I added uh, thumb studs on every one of these. Uh, this knife is fantastic and uh, was in my top five before I got the latest knife. Um, so these are three different practices. Um, before the button lock came out. This is the button lock here. Um, these are all liner locks. They're about a four inch knife. I actually, I have no idea what it actually comes in at. The cutting edge is on the Civivi Praxis. Okay, about a three and a half inch uh, edge to it. Uh, fantastic knife. The action is unbelievable with the thumb studs added on. It just makes them that much better. Um, so this and this are 8CR, uh, 9CR 18MOV, I believe. This, this wooden handle one is, uh, some kind of a Civivi, uh, Damascus. I actually think that Civivi Damascus looks really cheap. Um, I bought this online and the picture online made it look a lot nicer. It kind of like this with the, with the washout of the bright light. That's sort of what I pictured in my head, but in real life, it's a lot more like this. Um, and I can change this by, uh, giving it a polish, uh, which I definitely will. Um, just because of their treating of it, they, they gave a lot of darkness to the, to the, uh, sunken spots in the metal. Uh, the button lock, however, is a, is aluminum scales. Oh, I forgot the, this one here is brushed copper. This is very heavy and nice. Um, but the button lock one came automatically with nitro V steel and aluminum, uh, scales. It's really nice. So for a runner up, I sure spent a lot of time because I have four of these knives, but let's get into the meat and potatoes guys. So, uh, first up, and this is in no particular order, guys. Um, first up is the ZT0562. This is, the, the one in my hand is one that I uh, heat anodize. So if you have one of these knives, it probably looks something like this. Okay, this is how I got it originally. Just straight brush titanium very thick uh these are locking lugs they're not uh they're not thumb studs so don't even try i've never been able to do it i know some people can but it's uh it's pretty crazy but uh yeah i ended up picking up a second one of these after i heat treated this one i i, I still haven't decided if i'm gonna heat treat the other one as well because i i learned a lot since i did some heat treating um but 100 percent, this is in my top five this knife is, is definitely up there in my top three. Uh, I love this knife very much. It's just, it's everything you you need in a knife and nothing you don't. It's, it's fantastic. This is a hinderer collaboration. So um, he actually worked with ZT to, to create this design. Um, it's just two solid slabs of titanium frame lock. Um, the blade steel is CPM 20 CV, so, you know, plenty, plenty great steel on there. Uh, it's just a fantastic knife, and the, 
the the bearings in this are unreal i don't know if any of you have ever opened this knife out uh, opened it up but if you check out the bearings they're they're just crazy they're beautiful and that brings us to the next knife and that's the spider co shaman uh this one's in lotus scales lotus flitanium scales with a black zirconium backspacer um I added that it's oil slick I think it looks really nice in in contrast to the the titanium um I want to get a titanium deep carry pocket clip I just have this black one on here for now just because it I had it kicking around and it fit um but this knife is fantastic guys um the Spyderco Shaman is in CPM S30V um and I didn't measure the ZT cutting edge, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, ah, uh, no, we'll, we'll give you cutting edges. So, a cutting edge of three inches, and the knife in total is about eight and change. Uh, and I didn't do the ZT, so let's just jump back and do that as well. Uh, ZT... Full length open, it's eight and a quarter, cutting edge three and a half. Love this knife. All right, that brings us to number three, the Demco AD 20.5. Uh, I actually forget the blade steel of this. It's S35VN. Uh, and this is the clip point. It also comes in a Warncliffe or a shark's foot, as it were. Uh, this functions on the shark lock. This this is my f this is my favorite mechanism, like locking mechanism for any knife. This, in my opinion, is the best lock. It's just as uh, strong as the triad lock, um, and a heck of a lot easier to utilize. This is the ultimate fidget knife. That's why I have two of them. Um, the scales on both of these are aluminum scales, just in different patterns from uh, Original Goat. Uh, those guys are fantastic. I wish they could uh, produce more of their products uh, and have them more readily available, but uh, sadly, not so much. So that's the Demco 8020.5. Wish I could have an 8020. I. I cannot express how much I would love to have an original 8020, but they're very unavailable and very expensive. Um, the fourth one here is my newest acquisition. Uh, this is uh, a Giant Mouse Biblio XL in Vanita Steel uh, with a brass backspacer, which I think looks fantastic. Um, I just reviewed this knife. Well, I just gave my unboxing and first impressions to this knife. Uh, it's got contoured, textured titanium scales from the factory with a brass backspacer and a wire uh, deep carry pocket clip, which is fantastic. It's a liner lock. And I think I already said the, the, the blade steel is vanitas. Um, I don't know much about Vanitas, but what I've learned so far is that it's not very corrosion resistant, so rust can be an issue, but as long as you keep this blade uh, clean, oiled, you know, just take care of your stuff, guys, and it should be fine. I don't live near the ocean. I don't have to worry about that so much. I just have to dry it off if I get it wet and uh, keep it oiled if I'm going to store it over time. Um, but yeah... This, this knife is absolutely fantastic. This, this is, from the factory, this is the nicest knife that I own. Because I'm used to getting a knife in G10 scales, and then I go and find some beautiful titanium or brass or um, aluminum scales, and then I would find my own backspacer and put it in and change the deep carry pocket, or a normal pocket clip to a deep carry. You know, but from the factory, this came the way it was. It wasn't cheap, but uh, I think, in my opinion, this knife is mm, very close to worth the money. Uh, it's a it's a beautiful knife, guys. 
Um, number five is the Spyderco Smock. Uh, this one is, uh, well, they're all S a CPM S30V. This one's in brass flitanium scales, not lotus scales, but uh, just straight brass. This is my most carried knife. This is like my, if I'm in a pinch and I just need a knife and I have to do something weird with it or whatever, or I just have to give it hell, this is the first knife I will reach for. This is my trustiest knife and it's just fantastic. So brass, flitanium scales, CPMS, uh, is it 20? No, CPM, is it 30 or 20? S30V. Um, and from Metten Boss, I got one of these cool lanyard hole fillers. Uh, it's just like a honeycomb texture, but I, I love this knife. I also have a Spider Coast smock in black oil slick zirconium from Metten Boss as well. No lanyard hole in, in these oil slick uh, zirconium scales. Uh, yeah, and uh, also obviously S or CPM S30V. Uh, and yeah, it's a, it functions on a, a compression lock that they've added a button to because the, the Taiwan factory um, is amazing. And that's something they tried. Um, there were two runners up. So the Civivi Praxis was, was sort of the runner up. Um, but also I had to include this uh, Spider Co. Yojimbo 2 with... Uh, uh, laser engraved um, scales from DNA lasering. This knife is fantastic. The Yojimbo's in CPM S30V as well. Uh, it's very dirty. I need to clean this thing. But uh, yeah, these scales are unreal. And this was this didn't make it into the top five just because it, it it's a it's a very it's a weird knife. <laughs> and functionally it just isn't as useful to me as the other ones but a very cool knife nonetheless and I just thought I'd show that to you in this as a runner-up anyway guys that's my top five I just wanted to show those off and uh, if you can like and subscribe it would mean a lot to me I'm uh, I'm nearing the thousand mark and uh, it's killing me to not be at that point yet so guys if you like my content like and subscribe but have a good day and stay sharp take care